Sup guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So if you're editing your clip and you have arranged your soundtrack perfectly according to the timeline, but then you realize there's some mistakes in your video editing and you want to, let's say, trim this part of the video a little bit and you see that the music or the sequence just messed up. It's still okay for you to do this if you don't have a lot of tracks, but it's kind of annoying actually if you have to constantly select every clip and readjust them to the sort of position and stuff like that. So today I'm going to show you four tips on how you actually can tackle this problem. So firstly, of course, the good old method of creating a compound clip. You just select everything and press option G. And then you see it's a compound clip. Yep, and every time you trim anything or adjust anything or delete or remove any video, the, the music just gonna stay here and it's not, it's not gonna move anywhere and you can s just safely adjust all everything and yep, once it's done, then you adjust the music according to the new timeline and then that's it. It's very simple. See, I'm smiling. It's very easy to do this. So that's the first way to do it. And the second way to do it would be still very simple. For example, you want to just trim a little bit, say a few frames. You can always cut it like this and then press shift and delete. And you can see that there's actually a slug over here. What you can do is you can add in other clips here to select the position too. And yep, that's the position too. And then for example, you have a new clip uh, let's say this is the new clip and you want to put it in onto your timeline you just put it in and that's all you need to do just press P for position 2 and yep the third way to do it is just to select all your videos not your titles or whatever uh, adjustment layer but only your videos actually some of the subtitles are okay I mean titles are okay and press option command and up arrow key so this create a secondary timeline and yep your audio tracks actually link to this part this gray part if you don't really like this gray color you can just select this and press b to unuse it so it's kind of black and if you have this secondary timeline and you think it's kind of frustrating especially you are using position 2 as well you can always turn off the position tool to back to select or press A. Select everything and use command option plus up arrow key to remove it. And <laughs> yep, it's very simple. It's done. And then you can freely adjust everything. Uh, let's say you delete this part. And you can see that your music stays at a position that you want it to be. And if you, if you want to reuse this, just press V again and you can see that there's a actually a gray part over here. And the last method could be actually very difficult to use sometimes. It's kind of confusing, but to me it's very, very effective. For example, you want to make this clip to be a little bit longer. You just press option and drag it up. But, and then just lengthen it like this over the second clip. It's kind of, I mean, overlapping to the second part of the clip or third or fourth, something like that. But <laughs> your music stays in track. So basically, if you want to edit everything, you have to drag, I don't know, more clips upwards and to do your adjustments. And then you might want to unuse all these clips after you're done editing. So the voice, I mean the audio, will, uh, will not get into the upper video and yep, it's smooth. And yep, that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any question, just PM me or drop a comment in the comment section below. 